Hello there! Welcome to my channel. My name is Kristen if you're new here. If you are not new here, I appreciate your support and thanks for coming back. Today I am super super excited because we finally finished the living room, dining room area. What had happened was that we had done the kitchen and opened up the door a little bit and the rooms just did not transition properly at all. So we went ahead and redid the living room, dining room, just so that it would all be cohesive. If this is something that you're interested in, then keep on watching. And of course, if you liked it, give me a big thumbs up. And if you wanna see more videos from me, which are kind of few and far between, just as an FYI, definitely hit that subscribe button and the bell so that you're notified each time. So let's go see what I did. Here's just a quick overview of what the living room, dining room looked like before we started doing the renovations. There's my husband breaking open that paint. So exciting. So here's the flooring that we went with. It's called Life Proof, and then the color was Walton Oak. It's a vinyl plank floor. And the reason why we went with that color is because it did have some grays, some browns, and some beiges in it. Since we are keeping the bar and the fireplace, those are dark brown, I just wanted to keep everything semi-cohesive. Our one biggest issue that we had was trying to figure out how to transition the stairway from gray to brown without making it look totally crazy. So now my husband has taken out the carpet and my son was pulling up the threshold pieces. The dog was not happy. She likes her carpet, she likes to roll around and lounge out in it. And for a while, she, wasn't, she wouldn't even walk on the new flooring after it was done, it was so funny. So then we had to take out the dining room floor, which was very easy to take out. I think it maybe took like 15 minutes to remove all of it. So now we're just getting the floor all cleaned up and prepped for my husband to put the new floor down. I'm so excited. The flooring was really bad. The house is old. And this was my husband putting the new one down. It looks so awesome. And this is the sideboard that we had in the thing. If you see that mark, that was actually from a wallflower that my husband had put on its side. So I sanded it all down and then I ended up painting the entire thing white. And then I followed up with that, painting all of the chairs, which was the most tedious process. I think I would have rather paid somebody to do it. I mean, it was easy, but it was just tedious and I'm all for instant gratification, get it done quickly. I think one chair took me like 25 minutes to do. It's driving me crazy. I do love how they came out though. And the reason why I actually went to paint them was because I had painted the entire buffet table white and then it just looked really weird because it was the only white piece of furniture in the entire room. So I figured I would do the chairs white as well and then leave the dining room table the dark, like you see right there. If you're ever painting a room, I highly suggest getting one of these fans. I don't know what it's called, but my husband has it for work and it dried the paint so much quicker. Like I said, I'm all about instant gratification and getting stuff done quickly. So that really helped the paint to dry. that furniture around like five times 
This is the overview of how the flooring looked. It made the space look so much bigger with just the one flooring instead of the transition. Here are the two pieces that I purchased from Big Lots. They actually match the decor perfectly. We did get a new sectional.